As a content creator, one of the toughest things you end up having to deal with is the storage of your raw video. Shooting in 4K takes up a ton of space, and depending on how you edit videos, your storage solution can really affect your workflow. This is the second video in our storage solutions for creator series. The first video is focused on the budget creator whose workflow is a single computer and needs a safe, performant, and reliable storage solution. In this video, we're going high performance. That's right, this video is focused on the creator or creators who need an affordable yet high performance network storage solution that can be used by multiple editors at once, both at high speed. So with that, let's get to it. Let's start with our requirements. Since our storage solution needs to be available to more than one PC or user at a time, our storage system needs to be on the network. So, item number one on our list, the system needs to be network attached. Right along with item number one, item number two is the system must have high-speed network connectivity. A one gig connection isn't going to cut it for smooth 4K video editing for multiple users. So our storage system must have a fast network connection. Item number three on the list is the system needs to have high storage capacity with disk failure redundancy. The storage solution must be capable of storing a lot of data, access that data as quickly as possible, and have fault tolerance in case an internal disk dies. And lastly, item number four, the system needs to have enough compute performance to easily handle all the tasks of access, editing, and more that we can throw at it. Nothing's worse than finding a solution that is so underpowered that when usage gets heavy, the system gets bogged down. And that's where this bad boy comes in. This is the iX Systems TrueNAS Mini X Plus. Let's dig into the details and why it fits the bill. Starting with the first requirement, this system must be multi-user. The TrueNAS Mini X Plus is a NAS or network attached storage system. In essence, it's a purpose-built computer that is designed to be connected to your network and serve data. Objective one, check. The next big thing on our list was that the system must have high-speed connections to serve data as quickly as possible over that network. The TrueNAS Mini X Plus has two 10 gigabit base T network connections, which are, depending on the storage you've chosen to use, capable of moving over a gigabyte of data a second. That's plenty of speed for multiple editors to concurrently access 4K video without bottlenecks slowing them down. Objective 2, check. Next is the capacity of our storage solution. The TrueNAS Mini X Plus has room for five 3.5 inch mechanical disks and two 2.5 inch solid state disks. Considering the largest mechanical disks on the market at the time of this video are 18 terabyte disks, building an array with five of them with a single disk fault tolerance would net us a massive 72 terabytes of storage. And with the additional two 2.5 inch SSDs to function as caching, we'll have plenty of storage and performance. Objective three, check. And finally, we like the TrueNAS Mini X Plus because even though it's a compact size, the little powerhouse packs an 8-core Intel Atom C3758 CPU running at 2.2 GHz, 32 GB of DDR4 ECC memory that's upgradable to 64 GB, and a 4X PCIe slot. Fully loaded, this little NAS consumes 111 watts and has plenty of CPU performance and upgradability for future functionality beyond serving as storage. Final objective, check. We'll be outfitting this NAS with five 10 terabyte CMR disks and two 500 gigabyte SSDs to act as our write cache. For testing purposes, we'll be connecting the NAS to one of our editing rigs via 10 gigabit directly and running a few tests. Let's take a look at the results. This is the disk speed test from Blackmagic Design, the company that makes DaVinci Resolve, a very popular video editing software. We're gonna use this test to see what sort of read and write performance we can get over our network between the TrueNAS Mini X Plus and our editing rig. This software also has the added benefit of showing us what types of video formats would be supported for editing on our connection. We'll be running this test with the largest test file possible, five gigabytes. Let's run the test. Our testing showed some impressive speeds. On average, our write speeds hovered in the high 600 megabytes a second, and our read speeds were close to 600 megabytes a second. And looking at the will it work chart shows us that all formats with the exception of 4K progressive 10-bit YUV422 formats, this NAS can handle the work. Synthetic testing is fine, but how does it actually feel to edit your project on the NAS using Premiere Pro? We'll first copy our project from our editing station to the NAS. This is in and of itself a good example of sustained transfer performance when moving data between the workstation and the NAS at 10 gigabit speeds. This project is 70 gigabytes in size, and the sustained transfer was between 400 and 500 megabytes a second. Not bad at all. Now let's quickly run through working in Premiere directly off the NAS. Once we import our 4K video, building a simple timeline, adding transitions, and running through playback, we were very pleased with the performance. 
Performance in Adobe Premiere is more about your CPU and GPU's power than it is about how fast your access to your raw videos are, but it is still important. And with the NAS at 10 gig, there's plenty of performance to go around. There's a lot of benefit to using a high performance NAS in your editing workflow. From data protection and storage reliability to multi-user access and sharing and more, it's hard to see a reason not to go that route if you have multiple editors. The only downside to a hardware platform like this is the price. But if you're a content creator with multiple creators making videos, then the return on investment can be well worth it. Just remember to buy CMR drives and invest in fast networking. Thank you for watching this video. We genuinely hope you found it valuable and we'd love to know what you think. So tell us in the comments below. Do you agree or disagree with our options? Is there something else you'd like tested? We would love to know. If this is the first time you've seen us, subscribe like right now. If you like what we do and want to be on social, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. And lastly, get on our Discord. It is a great growing community of people who love tech and we would be happy to have you. Thanks for watching and we will see you again soon.